everybody. This is Wisdom Keys with myself, Brother Francis. And as usual, I come on with something hopefully of interest that has a level of uh, learning, a lesson within itself of uh, revelation, not because that's my last name, part of it, <laughs> but an opportunity to have us get into the sensation or awareness of a level of freedom. A level of freedom that's not reversed. A level of freedom that continues to allow us to have a feeling and an awareness and a knowing and a remembrance of that. And so, I want to make sure things are working here, not always do I get this opportunity where I have everything heard properly. But we want to um, always know that we can attain accordingly. So there are many different layers of experiences that we can have at any given point. And often because a part of us is mixed with our human nature, human elements, we are always trying to, seeking to break free of that. So I'm going to go <laughs> and tap into a topic that I put here. And the topic was, you are powerful, colon, let your feelings create your world. The reason why I chose that, I was thinking about the late, great <laughs> Reverend Dr. Frederick Iken, Ikenrin Kota. <laughs> he had a long name, right? Ikenrin Kota. And it was spelled E I K, Ike, pronounced that way. And he reversed those first three letters, came up with I K E, only because when he was trying to put his name on the marquee, of the theater that his uh, longtime current church is still in. He had, a, of course, a mixture of old style Baptist things, but he was mixing it gradually with new thought in his way of what he understood. And he had studied uh, the teachings of. Dr. Joseph Murphy and uh, Neville Goddard and many people out in the New Thought World community when before he passed knew exactly who he was because they all had an opportunity to meet with people that knew him or meet with him for real themselves. I remember when they had the funeral of him and I was able to catch it streaming over the internet when <clears throat> when I was doing so and other people were getting it and I was telling other people, Hey they're stream you know, streaming live the services and many people who are well-known new thought 
metaphysical teachers today, such as Dr. Michael Beckwith, they were there. Other motivational speakers like Bob Proctor was there. John Asseray was there. These are some of the people who were a part of, back in 2004, the DVD, The Secret. Okay, all these people that were there they had an opportunity to attend. So it was interesting to see how um, people knew who he was and what he was trying to do at that time, dealing with a certain community mind of people up in the Fort Washington Heights area of Manhattan in New York City. And not only did he focus there, but he focused in the communities in Boston as well as um, being out in Los Angeles and California and going down into the areas of Florida. But he had this way, you know, that was his flamboyant way of getting his messages out there to the world. And one of the things he would always say is, let the feeling get the blessing. Now, he would come up with these catchy phrases because he was striving to um, get people's attention to focus on what they're doing to achieve levels of greatness in, in their life, levels of opportunity, um, ascending their consciousness, raising their consciousness to higher heights of understanding. So I want to just uh, play with that thought process. Let the feelings get the blessings. Now this was a man who also learned from these various teachers that the mind and the thoughts within that mind are very important. So one of the things he would say, and again, I never had a chance with my mother and I never had a chance to, to see him live on Sundays. I mean, we, we tried. <laughs> But when we got up there past Harlem in the Fort Washington Heights area of Manhattan, which was around 175th and Broadway, when we got up there, we would see the lines from both ends, front and the side of the building, literally extended, maybe hundreds to two, three, four hundred people standing on line going all the way in, either way, front or the side street. And so... We said we couldn't get in. <laughs> Probably if we had to hung out a little longer or maybe got there, like uh, I think his services kicked off at about 2 o'clock, 2 or 3 o'clock. So I think if we had gotten there early, like around 11-ish, you know, 12 in the area, and then, bam, be right there, get online, we probably would have gotten in and heard him live. So, he's like kind of on my mind a little bit, and I have his book here that I often thumb through. And today's topic is, You Are Powerful. What makes a person powerful? Let's start there. It could be your presence. You know, how you show up. Now, there's a lot of things that we talk about here. Which is, and I mention it a lot. It's it's better to be present than to be striving to be perfect. People um, lose their lives or um, lose good health because they are working too hard on being perfect. And when they're trying to be perfect, they put undue stress on themselves, right? Because they're just pushing too hard to be perfect at something. And I had to learn that my, myself throughout the years, you know. Next year I'll be 70. And these past 30 years, or I would say my earlier 20 years on the planet, you're learning things from various people. Yes, my late mother 
who was my first spiritual teacher. And then after I graduated from college, she introduced me to a bigger circle of her friends. And I would often remember hearing them cackle <laughs> and laugh. And, and they were good at laughing at themselves because they weren't egotistical people. They weren't self-centered. So they would always laugh at themselves, at their own foibles in life, life experiences. And one of the things was I often heard them say, and I heard Reverend Ike say it in his teachings on radio. He would say, that if you're not thinking for yourself, not getting clear with your own thoughts, the world, right, the collective humanity, the world, which also incorporates the news, which you hear on radio, which you see on TV, which you read in the paper, not only that, but your immediate family and friends, if they're not on the same page with you, and shifting your consciousness, your awareness to a better life for yourself, eventually they, who are not on the same page with you, choose for you. In other words, tell you what to go do. And we get that all the time in advertising. You remember back in the 60s, they had a lot of modeling agencies based on a, a young woman who I think was from England. She was a model, and she was called Twiggy for a reason, right? She was super thin, super thin. And everybody over here, most people <laughs> were tr in the fashion world were trying to become thin, and they developed, what, anorexia, <laughs> right? So they ate and let go of their food. They, that food was never doing anything for them because they were striving to have this super thin body after the model Twiggy. And the same would be for the, the Barbie dolls, trying to be super thin, and the Ken dolls, and so on and so forth. Sometimes mass media, the collective mind, can overwhelm who you are because you may not understand who you are. You may not have a good feeling about yourself. You may not be happy with yourself, but what allows you to get there is self-love. Without self-love, there is no self-improvement. Without self-love, there is no self-improvement. So often, we are finding ourselves going around in a circle. And we find ourselves feeling the sensation of a roller coaster going up and down. Emotions high at one moment and low at the next moment. And it's the full gamut of that being, you can get very excited two ways, right? You can be excited through anger, you can be excited through happiness. But happiness and joy should be something that you have evolved into where you are able to maintain it for very long periods of time, sustain the happiness and the joy. And the only way, or one of the ways to do that is to let go of expectations on some level, where sometimes you have to expect, you have to be on a positive frequency and expect only positive to happen in your life because you are radiating positiveness from the internal you into the external surroundings. So feelings, if they're low, 
if they carry a low vibration, if your feelings are low, meaning they're um, muddled, where there's internal confusion about who you think you are, what you want in your life, or what you feel is important in your life. If they're muddled, then of course you're not going to be able to draw into your life or become more of the positive. You will um, wallow in negativity. You will attract negative personalities and negative experiences. So what I would like this presentation to be like today, to be a living prayer, affirmative prayer within itself, to be a living affirmation within itself, to be a living intention organic within itself, to be a living decree, the whole teaching to be that. So, those of you that tune into this live and tune into this later replay, one of the things I want you to do right now is to go within yourself, behind the walls of flesh and bones and matter known as skin, to go deep within those walls those structures and go within the heart center where to you, for you, and through you is nothing more than peace and I want you to inhale on that word peace and let that word peace speak to you in the way it's going to speak to you. And as you exhale, you're sharing the sensation of peace. Because the word sense is to know exactly where you're going. Science means sense. And that, one of those definitions for science is sense. Exact sense. So I want you to sense what peace is to you right now. What harmony is to you right now. And what happiness is to you right now. Because if you are powerful you're not just powerful through physical exercise. You're just not powerful through reading a lot, you know, opening up your, your neurons and the folds of the brain and made it larger, right? And, and imbue all that new wisdom and knowledge in yourself and understanding in yourself. I like to talk about grace all the time in this as well. And the spirit of grace is always in our environment, not just outside of ourselves, but the spirit of grace, spirit of the fire, the spiritual embers, the flames of grace are housed in the millions of cells and the cellular memory within us. This is the place of greater remembrance, infinite remembrance, infinite awareness. So, you're going to use yourself as a living example. To go within yourself and discover the truth of your own awareness, the truth of your own remembrance, that you are more than this physical form. 
that you are accumulative energy that's constantly accumulating constantly in motion constantly free continuously free where you burst through and birth yourself a new you so let's go back to this as a premise in our mind you are powerful you're going to accept that thought if you can in your mind as if you were saying it to yourself so I'm not influencing how you're receiving this information today but I do want you to go deeply inside yourself right now as like a meditation and begin to sense throughout your body that you are powerful Meaning that you can empower yourself. Empower. Me powerful. <laughs> As you say, me powerful. Full. But a fullness of power. Where there's movement. <clears throat> Even in silence, there's movement inside yourself. There's a revealing inside yourself. There's a releasing inside yourself. There's a harnessing of energy inside yourself. This is why it would be good for you to study Tai Chi and Hatha Yoga, Kriya Yoga, um, all kinds of yoga, <laughs> system Bhakti Yoga, all these things, to have an experience of them so that you can open the body up to its true divine source that's inside you are powerful because there is a truth in feelings creating your world how you feel so you think of it when you get up in the morning how do you feel how do you feel when you get up in the morning how do you feel throughout the day how do you feel when you fall off to sleep? How do you feel when you're watching TV or a movie or sports or if you go out in nature or just go out for your day driving around? How do you feel? Reverend Ike used to say in his radio programs, and he would always say, I am, capital letters, I space A-M, is the name of, during using his terminology, God. Who, who, who's the ruler inside your body? Who's the definitive ruler? The infinite self. The true self. Your higher self. Being a reflection of the divine inside yourself. Your subconscious being a reflection of the microcosm back here. That's why we say we're feeling everything from behind us. Everything is pushing us forward. All your guides, all your ancestors, all the ancestral deities, all the elemental deities and things that you experience are, are riding behind you, lifting you up, moving you forward, or causing you to be still. You are powerful. Your feelings what you feel about yourself does create your world also with that constant thinking about certain things so if something upset you and you put all your emotional energy into what upset you that creates your world too that creates certain avenues of expression and things coming your way because the ancient comedic principle the first principle the first fundamental truth of all truths back in those days was 
and still stands today. The universe, the universe, the universe, <laughs> the universe is mental. The universe can contain every thought and feeling, yet the most imbued thought, the most energized thought, and the most energized feeling with the thought will create an expression of what we call life, various degrees of expression of life around us. So what happens is that we have the ability deep inside ourselves to call something forward, to call, to speak something into existence. Even when we say, um, we use the word intent, intention, the act of a willful thought. I mean, you're not expecting it to be any different than the way that, as you laid it out. You're not expecting it to be any different than the way that you laid it out. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> you don't expect any different on uh, how you laid it out, how you presented it to the world, how you issued it. So, let's say as an example, if I said to any one of you listening today or watching, if I said in a sincere tone, a sincere feeling, a sensation of sincerity, if I said, I love you, if I said it with enough sincerity, you would feel that, right? You wouldn't think like, what did I mean? Because both of them, the thought and the feeling and the intention within the feeling are going to literally impact you at the same time. One of them, <laughs> one of those lines, energy lines, you're going to accept or embrace and one of them you're going to repel. Or you might repel all three of them. But guess what? You might repel it, but it may sit within your auric field. The energetic external field radiating off your body, through your body. It's going to sit in there for a bit. So if I was to say, with sincerity, and I'll add a word. I love you unconditionally. And if I said it with enough energy in it, you would feel it. Even before we had the internet, you know, for video, live video streaming, Let's go back 20, 30 years ago when all you could do is talk on the phone. And because you're talking on the phone, you're using the vibrational frequencies of electronics, lights, electricity, and everything else. Also the acoustic energy and also the sensation of what it felt like to you when I said it those words then how does that come across when I meet with you as an individual and say it directly to you maybe I'm projecting it just within my field or can I project it into your field in any event any way possible you're going to feel something you're going to sense something. And 
between the sensing and the feeling. And, and again, science, one of the definitions to the term science used to be exact sense or exact direction. So when a word is spoken, it is spoken directly into the ethers of what we call the ethereal world, right? Just outside the body. And if, re and if repeated enough times, exactly the same way every time and every moment, the energy gets what? Built up. This energy field builds and builds and builds and builds and expands and expands and each particle carries that energy out into the external world and anybody coming in touch could feel it if they are sensitive enough if they are sensitive to themselves and their immediate field which is arm's length personal space and then a little bit beyond that if they can sense what I was saying and they would feel what I'm saying they would then know what I'm saying it would trigger a response within them and that person would feel it. Literally you get almost on the same level. So now you have the same level of understanding, the same level of understanding grace, the same level of understanding unconditional levels of awareness. I Meaning there are no strings attached. It is what it is as it flows through me into my space, into the space that you come in touch with. Nothing is lost. All is gained. All is experienced. There's a, a blending that goes on. Now, there's something of importance I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Let's see, what did I do? And I hope I didn't move anything away and move it around here so quickly. And yes, I moved really fast. <laughs> well, it just goes how fast the universe works, right? How fast things are moving but I think I have it just the same. I want to uh, express something and I'm gonna continue with this a little further to sum it up. There's an event that all of you who are parents with psychically gifted children, all of you, or you may know someone who has psychically gifted children and young adults in their life around them. It is called Breakthrough Connections. I want you to get that in your mind. I want you to feel it. Breakthrough, as one word. Second word, Connections. This is an eight-week transformational workshop for parents and psychically gifted kids or children as I would like to say. Three teachers, three of us coming together. Nikki Bruton Phillips, owner of Connected Compass. Also in collaboration and being held at Resonance Essentials, which is Michelle Vidal, and incorporating myself in that circle of grace. One, myself, Brother Francis, Revels Bay. The three of us are doing this project where we want to help you as a parent with psychically gifted children to have a breakthrough in your life where you are able, as a parent, support your psychically gifted children 
They came into this world with abilities, skills. They just need to be brought out. And Michelle Vidal and Nikki Bruton Phillips are going to be working three hours every Saturday beginning November the 6th, 2021 from 9 a.m. to 12 noon with the children to help them bring these gifts forward to see what it is that they have. And myself, I'm going to offer in a group format to you parents of these same children meditation. I'm going to add some other things into that meditation for three hours so that you can also have a breakthrough for yourself. And as you have these breakthroughs or just one breakthrough for yourself, looking for you to have a sensation and a knowing and a remembrance that within you is this inner child that can recognize your children and what they're going through and become more supportive of their journey right now. So Breakthrough Connections will be held as an eight-week transformational workshop at Resonant Essentials located at 3107, 3107 Eubank Boulevard, Northeast, number 33, here in Albuquerque, New Mexico, 87111. And that's inside of the Scottsdale Plaza, Scottsdale Plaza, is located on the north side of Candelaria and also on the east side. There's an entrance that gets you in there off of Eubank Avenue and also off of Candelaria. The Scottsdale Shopping Plaza. That's where Resident Essentials is located. So, here are the three basic questions. Has your child always seemed to know or feel the world on a level that you, <laughs> as the parent, can't understand? How many of you know someone who has psychically gifted children or you have them yourself and there are moments when you don't understand what's going on around them when they say they're talking to someone or they see someone but you look over there you don't see anything or are you ready to break through the first roadblock to connecting with your child as a parent there are roadblocks there's something that prevents you from seeing or understanding what they're experiencing the third question, does your child have these abilities that have you no idea how to help them with those abilities? Sometimes as a parent, you might think that you do know. But as you go through life experiencing your own life and their life, you may come to a level where you may not comprehend what they're going through. So you may see it in their very early stages, or you might see it in their preteen stage, or you might see it in their teenage stage, or you might see it as they go into the young adult stage. You might be around at some moment, but you are seeking to have a better understanding of what is it that they're going through because life is moving fast. So the three of us, we have over decades of experiences and we want to share that with you. Michelle Vidal with, in conjunction with Nikki Bruton Phillips, they're gonna work with your children and I'm gonna get you adults. <laughs> I get to work with you and help you have a better understanding and a breakthrough for yourself. This is gonna happen eight week and it's, it's a very large, transformational workshop that expands for eight weeks 
starting Saturday, November the 6th. So, I'm going to add the link in here so that you'll see the cost of this program without any tax included yet is about $592. But I'm going to add the link. And I, I want to put the link in here before I forget. Okay? Because I don't want to forget. So when you come on here, you'll see the link already here in the comments. Hey, Rosemary and Brandon Jamal Smith. That's my my brother. So I want to put this link in here because I don't want to forget. Now, this link is where you can go sign up at uh, Connected Compass. Okay, so I'm going to put this link right here. Bear with me for a minute, and then I'll get back to finishing up my talk here. But for anybody that lives here in the city of Albuquerque and surrounding towns of Albuquerque, you want them to go to this link, and you want them to sign up ASAP, because you got to be signed up before you can take this. You gotta be signed and paid in full, okay? And we want you to have this opportunity so that you can experience right along with your children. Oop, let's get it right. You want to experience right along with your children this opportunity to have your breakthrough as well. So I believe I got it all. I'm going to click. Yep, it's there. It will, yeah, there it is. So. This is a very important eight-week transformational workshop. We're looking forward to joining forces together to help your children and to help you. And I'm there to help you feel it through the presence of grace that's always around your children and around you as well. So that you could have this wonderful experience. So that you could have this living, organic experience and then you don't feel lost. You feel connected. And I, I believe, not only believe, I have faith and know that somewhere down the line in these eight weeks, I'm going to have you reconnect with yourself first. Have the breakthrough so that you can get it. You can comprehend it. I'm a meditation person. I offer guided meditations. But I offer them in a way that's connected to your lives. And we're going to do this on a group level as adults. That's my job. So, getting back to what I was stating. What I want you to be able to understand today. Is that you are powerful. And your feelings do create your world. But it's important to raise the vibration up. Raise the vibration up get it to be absolutely clear if you can get that what you feel on the side inside of you to be very clear then your purpose in your life has better clarity clear the emotions clear the mind for greater clarity understanding your purpose What's your reason for being? In French, they call it a raison d'etre. A raison d'etre is reason to be. What is your reason for existing? What is your reason for living? What is your reason for being who you want to be right now and how you want to impact the world? But you got to impact. you got to open up yourself. I just saw on the clock here, 4444. <laughs> okay, now it's beyond that. So, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I want you to know that you are powerful and that you do create 
not only are you creating with your words, the words that you speak, but you create with the thoughts that come through your, your mind, right? The microcosmic you is in your subconscious, and it's linked. You're not, you're not purely separated from your divine self inside yourself, around yourself. You're not disconnected from that at all. You're still tuned in. You just don't have to be this puppet on a string, bobbing up and down in and out of the collective humanity. You can be free. That's my word for you today. I hope it makes sense to you. Replay it, share it out to other people in your Facebook community. I'll be back here next week with another set of instructions and teachings called Wisdom Keys with myself, Brother Francis. Tomorrow at 12 p.m., because I come on at 1 on Thursdays, tomorrow at 12 p.m. will be Swanda, S-W-A-N-D, better known as Michelle Vidal, the owner and operator of Resident Essentials. Resident Essentials is an esoteric metaphysical school where you can come here and learn things about yourself. So, I'm going to close out now. And, uh, I want, oh, this Saturday um, and Sunday, you got to go in here back through Resident Essentials, the group. This Saturday and this Sunday, she's doing um, an all day, like a 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Um, experience. <laughs> workshop and it's going to teach you how to uh, walk in to your your own akasha and see what you need to do and how to bring that forward and of course we come up into the review as she says as she calls it the review of your life and you do that on halloween or as people in Wicca call Samhain, Samhain, but it looks like it says Samhain, <laughs> okay? But that's during that time where the, the year ends and, um, uh, what is it, Old Souls, uh, Saints, All Saints Day, which is November the 1st, is the start of the new. You know, they come in Africa, in the culture of Africa, they do almost the same thing. In the culture of Africa, it is the knowing that during the fall, right in the month of October, is the end of the year and going into the new year. And they know that they go through that time frame into the new year to start fresh, to start new. So it's something on that level, I may not have said it correctly, but if you're here in uh, Santa Fe, Belen, Las Lunas, um, and coming here into Albuquerque itself, um, she's not going to do it online, so you have to be here um, in flesh. So if you're listening to this, tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m., she's teaching, teaching it one way and is discounted out at $89. But if you're here on Sunday, from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Sunday at Resident Essentials. I believe the cost is $107. You need to get in touch with Michelle Vidal. All about that, get in touch. And if you know anybody that's interested in this opportunity here of Breakthrough Connections, tell them to call Resident Essentials at 505-453 Seven six four six. Call Resident Essentials at five zero five four five three seven six four six. And that's the number to reach Michelle. That's also for this weekend when you know making your list from the Akasha to to have a better life for yourself coming up next year uh, in this year starting in November to go forward. Okay, so use that number if you want to know about. Uh, the workshop coming up uh, this weekend, back to back, the same workshop. You'll see it in here, okay? Now, 
again use that number as well as Nikki Bruton Phillips number for a uh, connected compass which is 505-226-8353 for con connected compass which is Nikki Bruton Phillips call 505-226-8353 about Breakthrough Connections, our eight-week transformational workshop. And again, it, both of these are not going to be done virtually. You got to be here. You got to be in, in, in it. So get on that link in here. And do what you got to do. I'm going to come back on maybe a little later. Um, Sometimes I'm a late night person, so I may do some broadcasting again late night, and I'm going to use that same link, boom, so you can get in there and get this material, okay? I got to go now. Been on here too long. <laughs> Sorry for taking up too much of your time. I'm usually only here for 30 minutes, 31 minutes or so. Thank you for tuning in to Wisdom Keys. See you next Thursday at 1 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time, which is 3 p.m. Eastern, 2 p.m. Central. 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. Tomorrow at 12 noon p.m., which is Friday, is Swanda with uh, Michelle Vidal at 12 p.m. right here on Resident Essentials, the group. Okay? And I think next Tuesday will be Dominion Tarot with Donna at 12 p.m. same time on Tuesdays, 12 p.m. Take care, everybody. My grace is your grace. Until next time, remember that divine grace is a blessing as we are alive and well in the age of remembrance. Have a great day and be yourself, your divine self, overflowing in grace.